Hi guys, welcome to the Seven Man Show. Me, your host Sean. I've been asked to do a video on a few things, so here I am. Start with, I'm going to talk about the Airbnb IPO. I know I spoke about it before, but I've got a few new subscribers if you haven't noticed, and they want to hear about it. Well, basically, uh, Airbnb, as you know, it's one of the biggest uh, companies that rent out people's homes. It's a global company and it started up when two guys put an airbed up and called it a BNB. Hence the name. Well, it's grown a bit since then and they uh, have gone from strength to strength they had a bad year last year obviously where you had a lot of people who were leveraging who started with one property and then started leveraging one property against another and uh, of course they were at risk of having their properties uh, seized because of the virus and you then had uh, the government step in with their programs for anyone with a mortgage. Now Airbnb has uh, made a loss of over 690 million last year but you will uh, you will see that uh, you will see that that is uh, nothing compared to the user base of 150 million people it's still a company with massive potential it is one of the biggest companies that do this in the world it is a leader in their field and when you look at the likes of Netflix and Tesla uh, compared to their second biggest there is something to be said to be a leader in the field now they get 43% of their revenue from the EMEA, which is the Europe, uh, Middle East and African market. They also get 20% uh, commission on their experiences sector. So can be quite lucrative in the future once the uh, virus is over and done with but until then it's about riding out the other thing is I know myself my wife won't stay in a hotel she will only stay in an apartment we use Airbnb a lot not always but we do use it a lot but you have to because we have certain things we want to be able to cook for ourselves rather than go to a hotel we want to know what's in our food we also want the freedom of coming and going as we please the we went to go back this year to a place we went to the year before and they were charging an extortionate amount purely because they could furlough and they were trying to reclaim some of the cancelled bookings 
and reclaim some of the money from the council bookings and they thought people won't want to go abroad so they'll do this in the end it was cheaper for us to go to an area abroad that normally we wouldn't go to because it was, would be too expensive and I have to be careful during this stage about alienating people because people who usually go domestic on Airbnb will in the end think so that if I'm going to be stuck on a train in a capsule going uh, if I'm going to be stuck on Hi guys, welcome to Seven Money Show with me your host Sean well for those of you in the work course I've if you head over to my YouTube channel you'll see how I've spoke about Romeo batteries Romeo power batteries have confirmed an order of 2.4 billion dollars on batteries I apologize for background noise I'm not in my usual setting and TPI Composites have announced the order for more vehicles. They both said they cannot speak more about it, which screams an NDA. And on top of that, a congressman has spoken about bringing $800 million or more jobs to Lordstown Motors with the USPS contract. All the information is in my Channel. So if I'm going to be stuck on a train in a capsule for a couple of hours to get to my destination, I might as well be stuck in a capsule on a plane to get to my destination. Especially if it's going to save me money. Now... I've been asked what I plan to do with the IPO. I'm not a fan of getting in on IPOs because it, it, they become very volatile. I have gone in on some before, but usually when they've dropped with this, I would, uh, they're planning to IPO at 50. If they start doing something like Snowflake where the IPO more, I will leave it. If I will pick up around 52, 55, that will be my maximum. And then if it drops, I will buy the dip. If it doesn't, I'm fine with that. But as I said, it's going to be a very volatile time. I don't mind picking up at the IPO because it's an anticipated time. Uh, they did uh, get funding beginning of the year at double the valuation they are. So I do expect this to rise. So if I can get in below 55, I will. But if I, as I said, if I don't, I won't. I would like to know what you guys are thinking of doing. Anyway, uh, also, I'm wondering what uh, about DoorDash. Now you remember I spoke a lot about Grubhub before. A takeover approach I said there would be is prime for a takeover approach and then it came and I ran that all the way up uh, now grub grub uh, now that grubhub's done uh, doordash is going to IPO it's the biggest US's biggest uh, food delivery service and I think 
the thing is backdoor dash is people speak about e-commerce coming on 10 years during this year but I also think the same it can be said about the food delivery sector mainly because you were uh, mainly because there are people and the home delivery and grocery sector there are people who would have thought this sort of thing and wouldn't have used it no matter what for their whole life and then because of what's happened this year because of the rona they have been forced to use it and now that they've been forced to use it they will realize how much easier it is to get things delivered and they will now have it uh, have it brought in not only that I mean you think about it Warner Brothers are now going to show all their movies on HBO which will make AT&T rise because AT&T and HBO Max so all their movies are going to be on there it's going to be another nail in the coffin for the cinema go cinemas in the past you would go to the cinema you would go to the concession stand get some popcorn a drink afterwards you may take your date or whoever you're with to for a meal and it would be expensive you'd end up coming home now you think if say for instance you was doing that once a month or once a week or however often all of a sudden this happens the, the movies that would be in the cinemas now being streamed from the comfort of your home with a service that you're already using could be Disney Plus it could be Amazon Prime whichever one because different uh, producers movie producers are using different ones and then you can use DoorDash to or Uber Eats or Grubhub to just eat to deliver your food you know you could have Amazon Prime delivering your popcorn or you, you could make it yourself you realize how much money you save and then once the cinemas are open again you thinking is it really worth going spending all that money to go and then the cinemas who have lost a massive amount of money during this will have to, and to tell the truth weren't packing their stalls out anyway will have to play catch up and offer special offers for uh, just to get people in DoorDash I won't be buying on the IPO I will wait until it stabilizes to buy Airbnb I will only if it stays below 55 anyway I hope this answers some of your questions